Hello everyone, today's tour is the Sterling State Park in Monroe, Michigan. And we're heading in. Approaching the gates now. At the gate. Heading back. Looks like the first little area we're we'll coming to here. It's a good fishing area and the bolt launch. Heading into the bolt launch area. There are tons of parking spots back here. And the bolt launch look very huge. Looked like about six or eight boats could launch at one time. But this is all parking lot. Again, this is all parking for boaters. There are lots and lots of spots. So here's the launch. Off to my left here is a fish cleaning station. And here is the launch, which you can launch at and head right out into Lake Erie. Very big launch. There's a set of bathrooms down here. And again, a good sized fish cleaning station. Exiting out of the boat launch area, going back out to the main road, and we're gonna head back to the campground. Here's some campers coming and going. So we're on the main road heading back. Lots of trails, water on this side, a bunch of benches to sit, watch the wildlife. And you do get a good shot of the Fermi plant down here. Heading down into the day use area. And just a little heads up, there are signs posted that say no alcohol allowed in the day use. Again, tons of parking. up to the water. We're up here and there's the water in the beach area. Good sized pavilion. I see lots of picnic tables and grills. And then here's the bath house. And again, tons of parking up here. Well, there's tons of unisex restrooms here in the building it looks like six on the back side here i bet there's six on the front we'll go take a look great views of the water again tons of grills and picnic tables and tons of parking Again, pretty good sized pavilion with some picnic tables under it. And yes, there are six more bathrooms on the back side of the building. So i give you guys a quick look at the bathroom. Changing tables, hand dryers. Very clean, spacious bathrooms. Easily handicap accessible. Here's a little further down. Another pavilion. And looks to be another bathhouse down here. We'll go check it out. And a ton more parking. So we're heading into that other section where the other building is. And again, a lot more parking.
and the playground. Right, so we're heading up here to the other building. Looks like possibly a concession stand and another set of bathrooms, a vending machine, and some great views of the water. And again, there is a playground. It's right on the back side of the building here. Lots of stuff for kids to do. Lots of seats for parents. So there's a trailhead and fishing piers, and again, some additional parking on your way back towards the campground area. And we're gonna start heading back towards the campground now. through the gate there is a separate check-in for the campground area and we are heading back we're heading in uh, checkout time here says 1 p.m. you're allowed two vehicles per site all others have to park in the overflow lot it looks to be all one way it's pretty full today. Weather's a little chilly, but good day camping. So the sites we're going through right now all have cement pads, water hookups, and electric. This is the overflow parking and the trash area. Again, the sites are pull through sites. They are full hookups, it looks like. I do see sewer clean outs. So that's definitely a plus. Right now, we're in sites 52. 51, 50, they all look pretty level. So it looks like all the inner sites that we're driving by are all the full hookups and all the sites that are along the water's edge here are just electric sites. Uh, these sites right now are 45 and 44. So we're continuing down the road. The sites on my right, 38, 39, again, just hookups for electric. The sites to my left here are pretty big pull-through sites. We're at site 100, 99. These do look to be full hookups. So it looks like the inner ones are the full hookups and the outers are just electric. coming through sites 32 33 35 36 coming to the end here where it turns and gives you a good full view of the lake if you're looking for some sites down this way you're on sites 92 91 for full hookup, 90, and sites 26, and 25, back right up here to a little beach, and give you full view of the water. And coming back towards your middle sites, that's 89. Great views from there to the water. Looks like they've done some work down here along the beach to clear it. And we will continue on. Coming around the bend into the next little section. Again, lots of beach. See people down here already walking the beach and playing. through sites 
79 and 80. These look to be only electric sites. We're at 77, 78. Again, you get pretty good um, unobstructed views of the water. Am I right here? Sites 24, 23, 22, and 21. Your inner sites here 72, 73. We do look to be coming back into some full hookup sites now on the inner loop. 70, 71, your outer loops here, 16, 15, 14, so we're continuing around, 7, 8, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, am I right here? Your inner sights. 18, 19, and 20, again, full hookups. And we're continuing on. Go through some of the middle loops here. There is a pavilion again over here with picnic tables. Pretty big size grill at the end. And they have a little children's library. Again, very big. There's the bathhouse down there. We will go check that out. So we're coming into sites 160 through 167. So we're coming through right now. This is sites 223, 222. These sites are pretty flat. Very long sites. 220. And off to my left is the bathhouse in this area. So we're coming up to the small bathhouse. You see a vending machine, pop machine on the outside. This is one of the modern style bathhouses. Men's and women's bathrooms. And tons of showers. shower and this one again lots of benches room to move around big doorways and they do have one of the handicaps here that is a shower and bathroom again very big separate shower area and bathroom area clean bathrooms Head into the men's bathroom here real quick. Four sinks, some urinals, pretty big bathroom. Again, super clean, bright, room for lots of people. So we're coming around the back side of the bathhouse here and this area is all open. There's no sights, great for games. So we're continuing on here. All my, all these sites out my right here are our full hookup sites. We're coming through 164, 163, 
I will do a recap and explain all the full hookup sites and what sites just have electric. Proceeding into the next section here, all these sites have electric only. Continuing on, 240, 239, 238, here's 237, 236, 235, and you come around and you have another bathhouse. Again, same setup as the other one. Thirty-three and two thirty-two. So we we'll continue on on my right. Sites two thirty, two twenty-nine, two twenty-eight. On my left, two forty-eight, two forty-seven. Again, the sites look relatively flat. These are all electric sites. back up if you go to your right you have sites 143 through 158 and 185 through 209 and if you go to your left you have sites 123 through 142 site 159 and then sites 168 through 184 so we're heading down again sites Fairly large flat pads. These are electric only sites. Again, 136, 178, 177, 135, and you're really close to the bathhouse again. 134. 176, 133. Going around the turn here, sites 65, 172, 64, 171. My sites on my right here are full hookup sites. That's 62. And then this jumps to 130. 169 directly by the bathhouse. We're at 163, 162, 125. And some of the sites here on my right 125, 124, 123. These are going to be full hookup sites. Sites 208, 207 on my left, 120, 119, 118. Again, the ones here on my right are full hookups. 17, 116, 115. Site 204, 203, 202. 10, 109, 108. Again, these are still all full hookups. Here's site 157. Cool little setup. New Ranger and an Airstream. Sites 199, 198 here on the inner. Again, coming by the other bathhouse. Sites are full hookups on my right. And 
as we're continuing on here, coming out, you can see there is very little trees. Everything is relatively small that's here. So that gives you great views of the Paul Park and of the water. And we're heading back up towards the main entrance and heading out. I hope you enjoyed that tour. Again, I will do a little summary and explain all of the full hookup sites and regular sites. If you have any questions, please let me know. Last thing here, so on your way out, you gotta come way up near the front to get to the dump station. We'll head through it real quick. There is three stations for dumping. some more dumpsters up here for your garbage and that's your tour of Sterling State Park all right everyone here's a little summary here's a picture of the map all the green sites that you see are your full hookup sites all your blue are your ADA accessible sites Zoom in so you can see the numbers.